the cinnamon scented fragrances that only becomes possible when this amalgamation of diversity becomes the truth. It's only true that what our hearts and passions desire, it becomes art. It takes the shape of art, a truth of the hearts that admit love through colors, through melodious voices, through the coming together of people whose language finds a common ground in the realm of art and culture. How magnificently beautiful is the world because it has art that emanates from the wide range of cultures, from the uninhibited, undistinguished, undiscriminated love. Can we ever imagine a world that would be monotonous, monochrome? Tell me how dull, how boring, how desolate would the world look. But I'm glad that's not our reality. The birds have a reason to rejoice because they have a symphony being played in the mountains or they speak on hair of a bhangra being practiced in the landscape of greens or the hair of few girls singing songs of their loves, singing songs of partition, singing songs of, songs of the desire. I'm very glad to have with us dignitaries from across the states. Thank you so much everybody for joining us for the second National Delphic Summit 2022. Uh, I must congratulate the president of uh, Delphic Council uh, who have thought and his other team who have thought of organizing this particular event at the University of Kashmir uh, to promote the art and culture of our uh, you know uh, UT and of our valley uh, where uh, you know we have seen uh, we have seen that uh, some visibility is not there so I was happy uh, so that our youth also uh, comes to know about the importance of our uh, art and culture, not only uh, nationally, although lots of efforts are being made uh, to revive uh, both art and culture of our uh, UT at national level, uh, also at the international level, but I thought this is a proper, uh, you know, uh, forum which can definitely uh, at their own level and by involving uh, other uh, stakeholders from our UT uh, to promote the art and culture at uh, international uh, level. It's a two-day summit. Some very important sessions are being conducted uh, even uh, from other important point of view like, uh, uh, you know, property rights and all that. Uh, then uh, something about the uh, painting competition and all that. Uh, so I think it's going to be the uh, variety of uh, interaction, variety of uh, events, which I'm sure uh, our youngsters, I can see lots of youngsters at the back, this side and that side will definitely enjoy. Uh, and for us at the University of Kashmir, very important, I can see lots of delegates have joined from other parts of our country. It also gives them an opportunity to see Kashmir, uh, to see the beauty of Kashmir. And I'm sure uh, they'll be our ambassadors in our country and promote, at the same time, promote the tourism uh, of our UT, not only the art and culture, but also the tourism of our uh, UT, so that together we move forward, not only with the Delphic uh, Council, but also with the other activities of the country. Thank you very much. And uh, at the University of Kashmir, uh, whatever, anytime you want, you are always uh, welcome. Uh, and uh, we do look forward to have more ties uh, with the Delphic Council so that we uh, really promote the art and culture and tourism of our UT. Thank you very much. Youth, I believe, have the ability and can act as a bridge between culture and serve as creaky agents in promoting peace and intercultural understanding. As such, promoting creativity for and among youth and harnessing young people's creative potential and energy is therefore high on the agenda of the University of Kashmir in general and Department of Students Welfare here at University of Kashmir in particular. We believe that such activities not only cultivate the potential but also transmit the values of cultural preservation, 
cultural diversity and creates a sustainable environment from one generation to the next. What is, however, critical is providing young learners with opportunities to tap into and develop skills that have been dormant, unknown, emerging or advanced while connecting these impactful experiences to their worlds of universities, colleges, family and community life. Well, our university, under the able guidance and patronage of our Honorable Vice Chancellor, encourages and supports to build their skills and competencies, enabling them to actively pursue self-discovery and development through revelation, critique, and self-representation. We make sure that art as a transformative medium exposes our students to their own wisdom and creativity, visioning, experimenting, <coughs> producing, revi uh, revising, and finalizing expressions of self. Well, to accomplish this, I am pleased to share with you a well-planned, organized, and well-conceived calendar of wide range of events, which are all inclusive, cover all events pertaining to art, creativity, and literature, every year attracting students of all departments of the university, its satellite campuses, its affiliated colleges, and other universities as well. To quote a few, we, as an annual feature, organize <coughs> summer festival outreach camp exclusively for painting, Kashmir National Youth Festival for music, dance, and fine arts, youth parliament, and yes, Virsa, a literary festival commemorating the beginning of autumn through debate and poetry. Again, the mega event Vaharat, which is a summer festival for music and folk dance. Jashne Chale Kalan for art and culture and a very special mega event. Sunzal, the posters of which you must have come across uh, the campus. Now such events provide a platform for our students to showcase their talents and then we make every possible effort to refine them and their abilities. At times, we definitely get a raw talent, and on leaving the university, they become masters in those fields. While boosting the local culture, folklore, and narratives through such events, we are equally conscious of the importance of the modern innovations. So our events, if on the one hand, boost local identities, cultural revivalism, we on the other hand, provide them a chance to learn and master the modern and advanced skills as well. The journey does not stop here. We identify the talent at local level, shape and polish them, and expose them to the larger arena by making them to participate at the regional, zonal, and national events as well, thereby making them the brand ambassadors of peace. With this in mind, we at University of Kashmir are always open to any such collaboration or partnership which offers a platform for our students to portray the talent. Recently, we collaborated with the Himalayan Knowledge Network and added color to the event by organizing an inter-university allocation and poster competition. Just before that, we collaborated with Indian Institute of Public Administration and organized a debate on keyboard learning. And today you see us collaborating with you. Well, again, from 25th of October, we are yet to again coming with Sonzal, a Kashmiri word for rainbow to mingle with different talents. The event shall go on for seven days as the colors in the rainbow are. I can conclude by affirming that young people need many opportunities to interact with art in a lot of different ways throughout their lives. Even though transitory phase of year or two, we are here for them in any way and any form. Our paramount objective is to orient them 
and carve their innate capabilities and talents. We are committed towards this objective. And to achieve it, we continue to leave no stone unturned and attempt to explore all kinds of possibilities to shape them and ensure that they progress, prosper, and become the brand ambassadors of peace and harmony. It has been a very momentous journey. We have so far covered so many states and union territories, 35 or 36 to be exact, and much more are likely to be covered as we go along. As they say, log aate gaye aur karma banta gaya, to karma mera jari hai, ban raha hai. India, as we all know, is a land of diversity. Even if you think of the dance forms, we have so many. We have Manipuri in the east, northeast. You have Kathak. You have Kathakali. You have Bharatnatyam. You have uh, Odyssey. And so many dance forms in all regions of the country. And therefore, one needs to have a platform where these expressions of diverse kind find full flow, full expression. And Delphic aims to provide one such platform. It's a powerful medium for arts and crafts. Only last month, during our first summit in Delhi, we entered into an MOU with Crafts Village. And they are holding so many events of which we are also a part. So it's a way of providing opportunity to all to showcase their talents, and for all art lovers, it's a good medium. There are six art categories, including musical arts and sounds, performance arts and aerobatics, musical arts and sounds, language arts and rhetoric, then there are visual arts and crafts, which includes painting, graphics, sculpture, fashion, photography, etc. Then we have social arts and communication, and also ecological arts and architecture, which in its ambit encompasses various things like, you know, preservation of our natural heritage, which we have. So many, when I was driving through this beautiful city, I could see so many buildings which could be termed as heritage buildings. I was in Australia, they said, oh, this building is 60 years old. It's a heritage, so we can't demolish it. It's a, it's a you know, uh, pride position of ours. So, uh, for heritage and conservation of nature also, Delphic is working. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, regular engagements are being held across all these six categories and we are calling for entries from the states and we will be holding events at the national level and of course from national level in the international level also. Jammu Kashmir and Uske Saad Ladakh अगर यहां पे कल्चर की बात की जाए आर्ट एंड कल्चर की बात की संस्कृत और संस्कृति की बात करें सूफीइज्म की अगर हम बात करें तो मुझे लगता है कि बहुत बड़ा पोटेंशियल एरिया है बहुत बड़ा ग्रे एरिया है लेकिन पिछले 33 साल से एक बहुत बड़ी महामारी से हम गुजर रहे हैं और वो महामारी हमारी सोच है 
हर चीज का इलाज होता है लेकिन जब सोच में कोई चीज कहते बहम का इलाज नहीं अलुकमान के पास भी नहीं था मुझे खुशी है कि आज की आने वाली हमारी जनरेशन जिनको हम ब्रांड एम्बेसडर मानते हैं वो उनकी सोच में तब्दीली आ रही है जो मेरी उम्र के लोग हैं उनमें अभी थोड़ी सद्भावना और सोच में तब्दीली लाने की जरूरत है अगर हमें खुशहाल जम्मू कश्मीर बनाना है हम दूसरों पे डिपेंडेंट नहीं रह सकते अगर हमारा कल्चर देखें तो मुझे लगता है कि जम्मू कश्मीर में एक हजार से ज्यादा बोली बोली जाती है और हर खिते की अपनी अपनी पहचान है यही जम्मू कश्मीर की पहचान है और लद्दाख की पहचान है आई सर्टनली आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू यू नो बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द सेकंड नेशनल डेल्फिक समिट फॉर स्पेसिफिकली टू रीजन नंबर वन दिस शोज इज सिंबॉलिक ऑफ प्रोग्रेस सिंबॉलिक की आगे बढ़ रही है मूवमेंट अच्छे तरीके से बढ़ रही है मुहिम है मुहिम को हम पकड़ के लेके चल पा रहे हैं और जिस किस्म की जो पार्टिसिपेशन आई है अलग अलग यू नो प्रांतों से इस पार्टिसिपेशन को देख के ये भी लगता है हमें कि लोगों में उत्साह जो है नॉर्मली होता है कि समय में उत्साह कम होती है पर यहाँ उत्साह ज़्यादा हो रही है और मैं देख रहा हूँ कि अच्छे अच्छे लोग जुड़ते जा रहे हैं और अच्छी अच्छी चीज़ें होती जा रही है मुझे एक अपॉर्चुनिटी मिला दो दिन पहले यहाँ पर यूनिवर्सिटी के स्टूडेंट्स के साथ इंट्रैक्ट करने की और जो मैंने यहाँ पर एक ऊर्जा देखी जो मैंने एक एनर्जी देखी एक एक एस्पिरेशन देखी जो मैंने एक जज्बा देखा इसके बाद मुझे एक बात तो बिल्कुल मतलब तय है कि हम सही रास्ते में हैं क्योंकि उन्हें मेरी बात समझ में आई और ये जब बात समझ में आती है उसका मतलब हम जिस आइडिया को लेके चल रहे हैं आगे ये आइडिया बहुत अच्छी आइडिया है और इस आइडिया को लेके हम बहुत कुछ कर सकते हैं तो मैं सिर्फ दो ही चीज़ क्लैरिफाई करना चाहूँगा एक तरीके से ताकि सबके जहन में आए बहुत सारे लोग यहाँ हैं जो हमारे लिए नए भी हैं कि हम बेसिकली आर्ट एंड कल्चर जो कला और संस्कृति है इसकी एक मुहिम है हम यानी कि जितने लोग हैं हम सारे लोग यहाँ पे कोई भी हो साइंटिस्ट भी हो स्पोर्ट्समैन भी हो सब कलाकार हैं और जब कलाकार मैं कहता हूँ अपनी एस्थेटिक सेंस जो होती है अपने पास जो होती है जो हम पहनते हैं जैसे हम बोलते हैं अपने आप को प्रेजेंट करते हैं सबसे पहले तो अगर हम उसी में सही है सारे वी हैव आर ओन यूनिक मतलब अपने अपने ट्रेड्स हैं तो अप हम खुद एवरीबडी इज़ एन आर्टिस्ट तो ये ना कहें कि मैं मैं कलाकार नहीं हूँ या मैं कल्चरिस्ट नहीं हूँ एवरी बडी इन दिस वर्ल्ड इज एन आर्टिस्ट एवरी बडी इज इन दिस वर्ल्ड बिलोंग्स टू अ कल्चर एंड देर फोर वी ऑल आर अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस लार्ज मूवमेंट इफ यू विश टू बी दिस द अदर पॉइंट इज दैट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द काउंसिल की हम नेशनल समिट कर रहे हैं हमारी भारत देश में दो हजार दो से ये मूवमेंट चल रही है और दो हजार दो से हमने काम किया है एट अ नेशनल लेवल में कुछ लोग मिल के काम किया है अब इस चीज को बढ़ाया गया है आज हम श्रीनगर में अगर इस यूनिवर्सिटी कैंपस में हम बात कर रहे हैं उसका मतलब ये है कि हमने वी हैव रीच्ड आउट टू स्टेट्स वी हैव रीच्ड आउट टू सिटीज़ वी हैव रीच्ड आउट टू द कॉर्नर्स ऑफ द कंट्री और ऐसे ही हम अभी आगे करते जाएंगे चाहे वो छोटे से छोटे गांव हो चाहे बड़े से बड़े शहर हों चाहे हैव्स हों हैव नॉट्स हों हम सब तक रीच करने का हमारा प्रयास रहेगा तो इसीलिए जो मुहिम है ये हम सब लिए है यहाँ जितने लोग हैं जो परिचित नहीं हैं आई एल बी वेरी हैप्पी कि हमसे कोई पूछे तो हम उनको बताएंगे क्या है और हमसे जुड़े मैं चाहूँगा कि जम्मू कश्मीर डेल्फिक काउंसिल को जो है ना आगे जाके इतना ज़्यादा कामयाबी मिले क्योंकि यहाँ पे मैंने देखा है लोगों में एस्पिरेशन है एक एक चाह है चीज़ों के लिए और वो चाह अगर हमें उसको अगर रियलिटी में बदलना है तो हमें अपनी मूवमेंट जम्मू और कश्मीर में इतनी स्ट्रांग बनानी पड़ेगी और ये मेरी अशोक जी से विनती है कि यहाँ पर मेम्बरशिप्स पर ध्यान दिया जाए ताकि यहाँ पर लोग जुड़े और जितने लोग जुड़ेंगे उतनी ताकत जुड़ती है कि सबको सब कुछ करने का बहुत अच्छा इरादा है और बुलंद इरादा है मगर वो इरादा करने के लिए माध्यम चाहिए मीडियम्स चाहिए जो एक सरकार करती है सरकार अपना काम करती है सरकार के अलावा हमारा क्या कंट्रीब्यूशन हम कैसे कर सकते हैं वो काम हम बढ़ाना चाहते हैं हमारे इस मूवमेंट के थ्रू